السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يؤمن فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من قرأ حرفا من كتاب الله فله به حسنة والحسنة بعشر أمثالها لا أقول ألف لا من حرف ولكن ألف حرف ولا من حرف وميم حرف وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اقرأوا القرآن فإنه يأتي يوم القيامة شفيعا لأصحابه أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحد العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My most respected and honorable congregation, elders, brothers, young ones, and mothers and sisters <coughs> back home. Allah Ta'ala, inshallah, Aziz, within days, will bestow upon us the great month of Ramadan. With regards to Ramadan, Allah Ta'ala says, Shahru Ramadan al unzila fihi al-Qur'an. کہ رمضان الکریم نے اللہ تعالیٰ نے قرآن مجید کو نازل کیا اور رمضان الکریم وہ الکریم is almost here within distance now so with this in mind today inshallah I would like to discuss and talk a little about how and the importance of connecting ourselves with the book of Allah with the Quran so آج انشاءاللہ اگر اللہ توفیق دے تو قرآن کے ساتھ رابطہ کس طرح ہو جائے ہمارے اس اس کے بارے میں کچھ نہ کچھ اللہ ہمیں توفیق دے تمہیں کہہ دوں گا تو قرآن کریم از سوچ ا کتاب وچ کیم اپ سوچ ا ٹائم اینڈ از ا میریکل اف اللہ تعالی which overtook everything in the whole wide world. Because when Allah Ta'ala is sent to the Prophet, the Prophet is the Prophet is the Prophet. And the Prophet, the miracle that Allah Ta'ala gives the Prophet with, is usually the need of the time, is related to the time. For example, in Musa Alayhi Salaam's time, جو جادو وہ بہت رائج تھا ماجک واز ویری ویری پرومنٹ ایٹ دا ٹائم آف موسا علیہ السلام اللہ تعالی ڈیڈنٹ گیو موسا علیہ السلام سم تھنگ دیٹس ان ریلیٹڈ ٹو دس رادر اللہ تعالی گیو موجزہ ویریکلز ٹو موسا علیہ السلام سچ دیٹ ای آؤٹ شور دا میجیشنز دا بیسٹ میجیشنز آف دا ٹائم موسا علیہ السلام واز گیون اے سٹاف And whenever Musa السلام, would drop this stuff, it would become a slithering snake. Musa السلام, would put his hand under his armpit here, and when he would take it, it would be more brighter than the sun. So the magicians of that time could not compete with Musa السلام. اس وقت کے جو جادوگر تھے Musa السلام کے مقابلے میں نہیں کر پایا. So similarly, at the time of Isa السلام, Medicine was right. Medicine was at its peak. So when Isa alayhi salam was given mojiza, Allah Ta'ala gave him mojiza where he could treat people with leprosy. He could cure people who are blind. And this was something that the other medics at that time, they were baffled about. How is this person doing it? And Allah Ta'ala obviously gave him the power and the ability to do so. 
Similarly, at the time of our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hamare or Afke Pyari Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ke zamane mein Sher Shah ek bohot raij tha. The Arabs were fanatics about poem and poetry. So much so, they would have competitions where <coughs> poets would write poetry. They would have competitions. Or jo ala din chhi ki jo shayr usko kaaba ke yaha nataye jata. They would hang this poem. Or wo hamare darulun mein ek kitab hum padte hai. Sabir al muallakat. Seven poems that were hung on the kaaba. उस वक्त के जो शायर थे दे रोट एंड दे यूज टू से इन फ्रंट ऑफ द पीपल एंड द पीपल यूज टू वाह वाह हाउ अमेजिंग एंड दे वुड हैंग इट ऑन द पोएम सॉरी हैंग इट ऑन द काबा सो दैट पीपल वुड सी एंड दे वुड गेट दिस रिकॉग्निशन कि उसने ये शेर लिखा है वाह ही वाज डूइंग एन अमेजिंग जॉब सो व्हेन रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम वाज गिवन प्रॉफिटहुड ही वाज गिवन द कुरान एज अ मिरेकल ये जो कुरान करीम आप सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने बयान की लोगों के सामने दे कुड नॉट पुट इट टुगेदर एंड थिंक व्हेयर इज ही गेटिंग दिस फ्रॉम कहां से है क्योंकि उनको भी मालूम था कि आप सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम किसी के पास नहीं सीखा ही डिडंट नो ही डिडंट गो टू एनीबॉडी फॉर्मली टू लर्न हाउ टू रीड एंड राइट नेवर माइंड कम अप विद सच अ हाई लेवल ऑफ अरबी So they were baffled. So this is why they used to question that no, 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 this, this, you know, he's gone to somebody and he's learnt from somebody and he's, you know, making all this uh, poetry and these lines. So Allah Taala used to hear their statements and Allah Taala gave Quran. Wa in kuntum fi raibi mimma nazzalna ala abdi fa tu bi suratin min antli. If you've got any doubt with this Quran, tell you what. Bring a surah like it. एक जो सूरा है उसके मानिंद दे आओ ताकि तुम मुकाबला कर सके एंड यू कैन से दैट यू नो दिस इज पॉसिबली दे माइट बी अ हिंट दैट दिस वाज रिटन एंड दिस इज क्रिएटेड बाय मैन हालांकि दे इवन टिल टुडे 1400 और समथिंग इयर्स हैव गॉन पास किसी ने ये मुकाबला के सामना नहीं किया सो दिस इज द इमेंस इमेंस ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द कुरान and this mojiza ye jo mojiza hai often mojiza came miracles came and they went with the prophets agar aaj kisi ne kisi lakdi ko pakad kar zameen mein rakh jaye it's not going to become a snake even if he found the one that musa alai salam used it's not going to become a snake that mojiza has gone now from the ke sath chala gaya but the quran e kareem was revealed to nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam at that time he was left pristine pristine without any kind of alteration even a zabr is a fesh never mind a letter or a word same quran has remained and inshallah ta'ala will remain until the day of judgment now what is our duty the month of ramadan is coming up we know that this month is the month that allah taala revealed the holy quran we know the importance of tilawa we know the importance of how and why we should read the quran e kareem but if that realization comes on the first day of ramadan then by the time you step into the years half way to ramadan isliye hamare jo akabirin jo buzurg hai फरमाते हैं कि नमक रमदान से पहले पहले अपने मामूला को इंक्रीज करो इंक्रीज योर मामूला इंक्रीज योर रेसिटेशन ऑफ द कुरान इन शाबान नाउ लिटरली कपल वीक्स अवे फ्रॉम रमदान नाउ सो नाउ इफ यू हैव स्टार्टेड ऑलरेडी नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम विल स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रॉम रजब रजब से आप सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम तैयारी फरमाते थे रमदान के लिए If we haven't done that, then now at least we should start preparing and we should start increasing our daily recitation of the glorious Quran. If a person has a habit of already praying one para, then he should think that let me try from now to increase to one and a half, one and a, one and a three quarters, or even two juz. If a person hasn't even started reading the Quran, 
then he should think to himself today today is the blessed day of juma may aaj se hi ek safa sirf ek safa i'm going to read only one side and i'm going to gradually increase it day by day until the beginning of ramadan so what that will do is that will give him some stamina aur ye hum samajhte hain kyunki agar kisi ne masalan wo running mein jata hai ya dusri koi exercise mein jata hai from day one he can't just do a 5k marathon he needs to train aista aista he needs to increase the amount of distance that he's running and then gradually he'll be able to do the 5k and 10k with ease so this is why it's very very important isliye aham hai ki hum aaj hi se we increase and if not and we start reciting the glories of quran so reading one side a day increasing gradually to two sides to three sides or having a daily marbul of reciting the quran why because this you know quran quran jo hai it's an amazing book where a person who's khatam upon khatam upon khatam he completes he completes he will never get bored of completing lekin the best seller the, if the best seller book of <coughs> entire you know book history how many times can a person read it over and over again there's going to come a time where the person will become bored and say you know abbas you know i've read it enough lekin quran kareem usme maza hi maza hai and the more we pray the more we pray allah taala will give us the shadaf and allah taala will give us the closeness and the desire to read it more and more aur ye hum dekhte hain today amongst our scholars in the past where even in this day and age despite their busy schedule they are completing quran and tilawis every 5 days every week and so if we would be in this day and age can do it why can we not do it? mumkin hai hamare liye asal mein jo hai we need the courage and we need to have that desire inside you that inshallah i am going to do this and it's going to happen so it's a very very important thing that we do this because allah ta nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says that man qara'a harfan min kitab allah fa lahu bihi hasan that jisne quran e karim se tilawat ki uske liye for its recitation he gets a reward والحسنه بعشر امثالها جو نیکی جو ہے وہ 10 کے مانند ہوتی ہے one letter you get 10 rewards so the bisla wali sallam then he says he clarifies the point لا اقول الف لام م حرف i'm not saying that alif lam mean you know when we read alif lam mean for surah baqara i'm not saying that alif lam mean is one half rather i'm saying that alif is one lam is one mean is one So 10, 10, 10, just for Alif Lam. Now imagine in the month of Ramadan, Allah Ta'ala increases the reward by 70 and even more according to the ikhlas of the person reciting. So it's a big, big thing that we need to bring into our lives reading the Quran. And the decline that we see in the Ummah, the Ummah may jo decline more on why? Why is this happening? You know? it is because we have detached ourselves from the glorious quran there's a majority group of people baaz jo hai balki aksariyat they don't read the quran then you've got a group of people who read the quran on and off kabhi kabhar maybe fridays maybe once a year even some people suddenly and there are some people who read the quran but they don't take the next step of quran padhne ke baad agar aapko aadat ho jaye quran padhne ki mashallah then you need to take the next step and the next step is to start understanding the message of the quran quran mein kya likha hai zalika kitab la raiba fi hudal lil muttaqin what is it saying it's not a normal practice but when i have dekhte the i'm sure some of you guys might have had the same experiences when letters used to come from the council and agar ghar mein parents wo pare lekin pare lekin you you know hote the so what would they do they would bring one of the elder siblings to the school come here come here do you what is that to say it's either you know an extra payment or it's a red one 
So they're trying to get this explanation. So the son of the daughter said, Abba, yeah, this is what he's saying. The counselor said, you know, you need to get a torch. You need to do this, this, this. So they've explained the full letter. No, no, explain it again. So they would do this with this letter from the Holy Council or anywhere else. This Quran has been revealed and sent by our, our Allah to our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that we can benefit from this. If you bring a new piece of technology and you've never seen it before, you don't start using it, just opening it up, put it together, whatever. You look at the manual, like, let's see how this works, you know, let's see, look at the features, what does this do? How can I maximize the benefit from this? So the Quran is a manual for us, for us to implement in our lives and to make this our benchmark of how we live our life. This is a very, very important thing. And you see it, the point he says, the Sahaba of Allah Ta'ala and they didn't have much materialistic wise, money wise, they didn't have much. They can hold the money when Mu'azzas they Muslims. They had strong Iman, unwavered. They were so loyal to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah that nothing could waver them. Or how our situation, the Ham Kharbuy Tari Te Quran Hukum. We become disgraced. We don't know nothing about our religion. We don't know nothing about our Quran. Non Muslims ask us questions at work, at school. We don't know how to reply to them. We don't know what's in the Quran ourselves. How can we answer? This is very important for us to spend time on the Quran. You know, we read the Quran. Make a habit of reading the Quran first and foremost. Secondly, we understand the Quran. Or Quran and Rajeem Samajhne Me, you don't take that task upon yourself. Yes, if Quran Tarjama ko leka betna, ye itna asa nahi hai. It's a very, very, obviously, it's a book from Allah. It needs to be explained in such a manner. And the explanation of the Quran has also come down from generation to generation. So a scholar can't just say, ek alim jo hai wo is tarah nahi keh sakta. Mujhe aisa lag raha hai ke is ayat mein ye murad hai. He can't say that. He can't take the meaning of, he can't give an inter interpretation from his own akal. This inter interpretation, this explanation has also gone through a chain of narration. So is liye hamare din jo hai, ye pristine hai. So no alterations, no fabrications in it. So this is the reason why we need to attach ourselves. And what we also need to do is we need to really, really try and connect ourselves in understanding through sitting in the in the lessons of the Quran. Okay, try and find a local scholar, try and find someone reliable, someone who you have it minan upon. Or Unse Kedoki Mahana Sat Imam Sat. Please give us some time. And a kuch work di di jay ke hum Quran ko samjhe. Start from the basics. Namaz mein jo surat hum padte hai, we've been praying for years and decades. Lekin we don't know the meaning. We don't know what Allah Taala is trying to say to us in these surahs. Yet we are praying them. Forget the surahs from the Quran, Surah Fatiha. How many of us have gone through the translation, the tafsir? The tarjama, the explanation of Surah Fatiha, and we read it many, 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 many times throughout the day and throughout the years we've been praying. So this is why my brothers and elders, uh, inshallah, I'm going to conclude. But before I do, just to wrap things up again, please take this <coughs> word of mine. And from today, let's make a habit of reading the Quran. And let's read it with reverence. Azmat ke saath, mohabbat ke saath, adab ke saath, Quran ko parho. Let's all of us read Quran. And think of it that Allah Ta'ala is talking to you. Kyunki jo Allah ki kalam hai, Allah hum se baat ke rahe. So Allah is talking to us, so we should, when someone important talks to you, you listen and you pay attention. In school the teachers will say to you, please, Look at me so I know you're giving attention. You're hearing. They can more, they want your attention by you looking at them as well. So this is why it's very, very important that we read the Quran with abundance. 
and we read it with the reverence and we read it with the love and muhabbada. This is the kalam of Allah. This is the kalam of our Creator who has given us, given us everything that we have. And like I said, inshallah, if Allah gives the tawfiq, sit down with reliable scholars. You can access material in terms of books, in terms of other scholars, but first consult with your local scholars. Because today, jo hai, internet, par, YouTube, par, you know, on social media, there's so much material out there. I mean, I don't know who is on the right, who is on the left, who is from, you know, what kind of background. Sometimes, Allah forbid, there are people with agendas. Even non-Muslims, they, they have better understanding than you. They have channels and things like that. So, this is why we have to do this. We need to think about who we take our knowledge from, approach our local scholars, ask them, can you please guide me towards this book or a certain scholar who I can learn from, and inshallah, carry on doing this. And Allah Ta'ala, inshallah, will bring a lot of nuraniyat in our lives. Make it a habit and sit down with the kids at home. Or do you know the middle and upper class people? In the evenings, they don't sit down in front of the TV with their kids. They sit down with a book. The whole family is reading different books. Or ham agar Quran and Majid ke saad is tarah bech jaye with our children. In five minutes, kids, we're going to read the Quran just before we have our dinner or whatever. Inshallah, you'll see the ruhani and the nurani in your lives, in our lives, in our homes as well. Allah Ta'ala will, you know, place an immense amount of barakah. So I'll finish off with the couplets of Hazrat Mufti Muhammad Shafi, Sabah Rahmatullahi Alayhi. Hazrat Farmat said, Quran ko khatam karna maksud nahi. That completing the Quran over and over, it's not the objective. It's an objective, but it's not the objective. What is the maksud? Quran ko karate perte apne zindagi ko khatam karna maksud hai. That you not only just complete the Quran once, put it away, like it happens a lot, rather you read it, you read it, you read it, you complete the Quran over and over and over again, over and over again until your life is complete. Until your life has gone, you passed away. May Allah Ta'ala first and foremost grant me the ability to adopt the teachings of the Quran and increase the love of the Quran in my heart and in the hearts of everybody here, everybody listening at home. May Allah Ta'ala grant us the ability to prepare well for the month of Ramadan. Also, we know that the 15th night of Shabbat is upon us as well, Saturday night. Those who wish to fast also may fast. And it's also, Alhamdulillah, those of you who are fasting maybe today because it's also the Ayyam al as well, the three white days. Ayyami Bid bhi hai, today, tomorrow and Sunday. And then on Monday, we've got the Sunnah fast as well on Monday. So, mumkin ho to roza bhi rakhe, kyunke in preparation for Ramadan, get the body used to fasting as well. Inshallah, may Allah ta'ala practice all the tawfiq. So, ahadawana, alhamdulillah.